I knew that the national anthem did not speak for people like me in America. The freedom, liberty, and justice for all it is not for black people. Gwen Berry knows where, what the math is here. She knows that she's going to get rich and famous off of this. Nobody had heard of her yesterday. Everybody's heard of her today. Okay, let's talk about the issue of race in the United States. Okay, so in order for us to live in a common polity, we have to understand certain basic agreements. Right? Even if you believe in a sort of federalist perspective, in a libertarian perspective, there have to be certain basic premises, which is that we all share a country for a reason and that the country is rooted in some fundamental good. If you believe that the country is fundamentally bad and wrong and it needs to be completely remade, particularly along authoritarian lines, well, that is going to lead to conflict. Well, half the country cheers that second perspective at this point, right? which is why you see Gwen Berry making national news. We now live in a country where you become more rich and more famous for boycotting the national anthem than you do for simply standing up for the national anthem. In baseball in the 1970s, there's this very famous circumstance where Rick Monday, who was an outfielder at the time for the Chicago Cubs, it was at Wrigley Field, and Rick Monday went and, uh, and grabbed, a, there was a guy trying to, he ran onto the field, he was trying to burn the American flag. Rick Monday came over and, and grabbed the American flag away from him, and he was cheered for this. Today, the player himself would be lighting the American flag on fire in the outfield, and the media would be cheering for him. So Gwen Berry has made international headlines because at the Olympic trials, she decided to turn her face away from the flag and to make faces during the national anthem, and then to post about what a courageous fighter she was. The reason why we are all paying attention to you, Gwen Berry, is because you want us to pay attention to you. You want the attention. The quick path to fame and riches in the United States is to crap all over the flag, not to pay attention to the flag. Being patriotic is considered rote and hackneyed. Burning the flag is considered forward-thinking and wonderful by at least half the country, which means there can't be any sort of unified polity. There have to be some things that we agree on on a broad level. And by the way, if you're if you are representing the United States in, for example, the Pan American Games, as Gwen Berry did, right? She she did in 2019, and she got in hot water with the International Olympic Committee, the, the United States Olympic Committee, specifically because she decided that she was going to raise her fist during the national anthem in protest of something or other. And um, and then the New York Times gave her space, right? Because that is how this works. So she's been attempting to get attention for this sort of stuff for for quite a while, despite the fact that Gwen Berry has lived a pretty amazing life in the United States, as it turns out. Gwen Berry grew up in her grandparents' home. There were 13 people in the home, in her grandmother's home. And then she had a baby out of wedlock at the age of 15, got a scholarship to go to Southern Illinois University, and she's made a career ever since throwing a hammer. That's kind of an amazing thing in the United States. Right? You don't hear a lot of stories like that in other places, but the utter ingratitude is the point. So here is Gwen Berry speaking to the New York Times. This is just about a year ago, talking about how cruel it was that people were angry at her for protesting the American flag and the national anthem. Again, while voluntarily joining a team to represent the United States, we're not talking about a regular, even Colin Kaepernick playing for an NFL team and deciding he doesn't like the national anthem like adult. We're talking about somebody whose overt job is to represent the United States, and we're supposed to cheer them when they crap all over the United States. And the New York Times thinks that this is great. Here was Gwen Berry talking about this just last year. So last summer at the Pan American Games, I threw 74 meters and I won gold. I remember the metal was so heavy and so real. I was excited. I was nervous. In that moment when the national anthem was playing, I knew that the national anthem did not speak for people like me in America. The freedom, liberty, and justice for all it is not for black people. Something came over me. I raised my fist. I felt like I was not at peace with myself if I had not said something or did something in that moment. Okay, let, let's point out something. She says that the national anthem and the flag are not for her. She is literally sitting there wearing a shirt that says United States Pan American team with the American flag on it. Weird. Weird how you're very happy to take the notoriety associated with representing the United States and then to crap all over the national anthem and the American flag. Gen Z, but this has become mainstream thinking on the left. Okay, they, they cannot offend people who wish to tear away any common symbol of the United States. Again, I'm all for diversity of viewpoint. She has a right to protest. She does. She doesn't have a right to, to protest while representing the United States, per se, because that's a weird thing. It's like, as Charles Cook of the National Review suggested, it's like saying that you're going to play for the New York Yankees, you get signed by the New York Yankees, you sign the contract, and the first thing you say is, I'm never wearing pinstripes. I'm only wearing a red uniform. Like, well, no, that's not how any of this works. But in the United States, free country, she can say whatever she wants. If we are to have a common polity, however, there has to be certain basic agreements on certain things. Like, you don't get to invade. You know, other people's individual rights, so her rights are not being invaded. Also, we should have a baseline level of social agreement that there are some common symbols that carry some sort of sacred unity representing those rights. 
But we don't want to unify over all that. So you have Jen Psaki from the White House defending this sort of stuff. I haven't spoken to the president specifically about this, but I know he's incredibly proud to be an American uh, and has great respect for the anthem and all that it represents, especially for our men and women serving in uniform all around the world. He would also say, of course, that part of that pride in our country means recognizing there are moments where we are, as a country haven't lived up to our highest ideals, and it means respecting the right of people granted to them in the Constitution to peacefully protest. Well, of course, we respect the right of people to peacefully protest. It doesn't mean you're not an idiot, depending on how you protest. But again, this is Gwen Berry knows where, what the math is here. She knows that she's going to get rich and famous off of this. Nobody heard of her yesterday. Everybody's heard of her today. It's that simple. An unhealthy country is one that celebrates people who spend their day tearing down the country while purportedly representing the country. That is not a particularly good thing. All these cultural issues matter. They do, especially because the kind of idea that America is inherently bad will be crammed down on your kids, right? It's not as though this is a, 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 everybody has their own perspective game. People in the United States government right now in the educational system wish to push you to believe all the same sort of stuff. They wish to teach the 1619 Project in schools. They wish your kids to be indoctrinated in this sort of nonsense ideology in college. Corporations mirror this sort of stuff, right? That is a dangerous thing in the United States because this is a battle for power. It is. And it turns out the people who respect the American flag the most are also the ones who are basically going to be OK with people in the private sphere doing what exactly Gwen Berry does. And again, I'm fine with that on a, on a basic kind of dissent level. But the people who do what Gwen Berry does in control of power are going to be very intolerant of anybody having a pro-America viewpoint. There's a bit of a zero sum game going on here. We're in a battle for the culture and for our values. Like and subscribe to help keep our videos on the front line of the fight and top of your feed.